So let, let's look at this uh, arrangement of there will never be another you phrase by phrase. And I'm going to show you the techniques that uh, I, um, I used. As in most of my arrangements, uh, I like to uh, mix up techniques. I'm not really um, interested in uh, using exactly the same technique all the way through the piece, uh, especially in a solo piano situation. I like to mix up the techniques. So I, um, it's a very scalar melody, the melody uh, of the first phrase. So let's take advantage of that scalar melody and harmonize it in drop two. However, the first chord is not drop two, it's a fourth chord. So I open up uh, three perfect fourths under the fifth. This B flat is the fifth of the E flat major seven, which is my uh, first chord. This is the pickup uh, beat to the E flat major seven. And it's like an E flat six nine with a bass uh, on the third. Four note chord in fourths. Now I get to beat one on the sixth of E flat and I go right into a passing diminished chord. So here's my passing diminished. Harmonizing six, C, and then here's my first E flat major chord. The root is not present. I have substituted the nine F for the root. The pure drop two chord would be this, but the E flat, which is the root, is substituted by the F, which is uh, the ninth. So it makes a really nice resolution. So again, another fourth chord. It's in the scale of E flat major. Uh, the key of E flat major doesn't really define the chord, um, the chord quality because I don't have the major third. But it does work and it gets me to Another drop two, this is a drop two of a G minor seven, the D dropped by an octave. And this G minor seven, if I consider that the real, the true root is E flat, gives me an E flat major seven with a nine, a nine in the melody. So let's run uh, the phrase up to there. I get to another chord in fourths, like a so what chord. Now this is an E flat major chord with the ninth in the root. 